resurrection. No donation, no salvation. And remember, respect is everything. And we're back. Since I had a little bit of time on my hands before uh, I expect some family to show up, I figured we'd look at the last set of LEGO Transformers that I have to look at since, uh, you know, we have one new character and one um, updated character. So, today it is G1, Red Alert, and Minerva. I saved this one for last because uh, Minerva was just not cooperating with me. Now, she is modeled after her original Porsche car mode. It was a Porsche 959. Um, unfortunately... I could not get the headmaster to work at this scale. It just was not cooperating with me. I spent days trying to get it to work, but ultimately I just said screw it and left out the gimmick. But I did make this figure to acknowledge it because uh, Minerva was a headmaster junior where basically they select um, some human characters, I think they were younger humans, to basically be their headmasters. So, yeah. I, I do acknowledge that I, I did acknowledge it at least, but like I said, it just it could not be done. Uh, I couldn't do it at, my, at this scale because if you're all familiar with my aesthetic, it's a very kind of anime kind of I guess sort of I wouldn't say chibi, but very Mega Man inspired aesthetic. But anyway, here is Red Alert, and um, let's get to the transformations. Okay. We're going to start with Minerva, and she's the new one here. So yes, in my story, she's not a headmaster, mostly because, uh, well, I mean, the way, the way I handle it, if I can't get the figure to do it, then I end up just leaving it out of the story entirely. I know that sounds a little ridiculous, but it's just an OCD thing, and it only applies to my fiction anyway. But yes, um, go ahead and uh, rotate her arms out. Uh, she came out a little stubbier than I was expecting, which doesn't bother me, and naturally, I mean, these figures kind of have their own little kind of um, aesthetic to them, but I think it's also because of how large the rear end of the car is, since I actually tried to complete the rear end of the car. So there she is in her robot mode. Let me give her a little weapon that I made her, since I remembered to include it this time. So go ahead and give her a little gun. There's some hair there. That's always nice. So there she is. She, she should look taller. It's just, again, the figures are not a hundred percent a direct translation from uh, you know my actual um, work in the fiction um, I, I really need to start making some drawings for these and her leg came off that's not good oh insert some spammy spam here okay um, let's look at red alert real quick since I did update him I had pretty much gave him a new roof section and I gave him a spoiler like his original Lamborghini Countach mode was supposed to have, so it is what it is. I also updated some of the shape of the car in general just to make it look a little nicer, I guess. Um, I didn't give him red rims because I don't have red rims, and that really only applies to the the uh, Siege version anyway, since in G1 he just had normal chrome Lamborghini rims. And I did make him his shoulder cannon, which plugs in right... Here? I don't remember which side it goes on, so if it's on the wrong side, I'm sorry about that. But yes, uh, Minerva and Red Alert uh, in my story, as well as all the emergency bots, which would imply, you know, like cop cars, fire trucks, so, you know, Prowl and uh, Inferno, they're all their own, they're kind of their own separate team. Kind of like the Protecta bots, where they focus a lot on, uh, you know, their respective duties based on their vehicle modes, so, you know, Prowl's obviously a cop. Um, Red Alert and Inferno. Um, you know, they, they, they tackle all the fire emergency stuff. And then Ratchet and Minerva, they handle most of the uh, medical stuff that the Autobots deal with. So, I'm going to transform Ratchet while I talk. So, yeah, the emergency bots, I, I basically call them the, the, you know, I haven't really come up with a name for it yet. But they're basically the emergency team. They're, they're pretty much like the protect the bots, but they don't combine. So they have a little more purpose to them in this story than uh, they did in G1, since it's kind of my own little fiction. There's Ratchet. But anyway, there's the entire emergency team. But anyway, um, that's enough rambling. I hope you guys appreciate the little bits of backstory I include with these characters. I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, you all have a good one. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!